Hello and welcome to another video. Again we're talking about giants. This time we're talking about a particular group of angels now. They're referred to as the sons of God. Now a bit of, bit of a backstory here. Now this is an underlying theme that since time began, or time as we know it began, exists. And that is the battle between good and evil. On the one hand you've got a creator that creates everything and on the other hand you have this rival power that springs up who then wants to give you a false reality and set themselves up with this illusion that, and take basically taking credit for it I mean that, that saying goes nobody likes a cheat <laughs> maybe that's the origin of it anyway um, so the backstory, you have this creator who says to one of his main angels called Lucifer that um, I've now created a being called man and you will worship him and you will worship me. To which there's probably the first negative uh, thought or negative concept has come about. Envy and resentment. It's, oh, hang on a minute. So I've got to worship you and now... This other thing you've created, you're now saying is higher than me. So Lucifer's saying, right, I'm going to set myself up as a rival. And along with 200 followers, they've come down to the earth, or they've, they've been going backwards and forwards like all the other angels, according to all the accounts. They're interdimensional beings and these with these four faces i think this is why you're seeing in carvings particularly in egypt you have these various beings with strange heads on human bodies i think they are depictions of how they possibly appeared i've come to the stage that i'm not going to rule anything out as being mythological because the evidence seems to be suggesting that these ancient texts are telling the truth they are quite literal about a lot of things so you have these be these angels who decide they like the look of women and they decide devoid of any empathy or the repercussions of their actions although they seem to be aware of it of what what for defying this creator of what they're about to do but they're still doing it anyway they basically rape women of the earth and they create a new being that is neither human nor angel. Probably over, heavily overlaid more in, in human DNA from the mother's side. And funny enough, we're seeing a same pattern happening with vaccines. Interfering with the programs in, in the body by introducing things that shouldn't be there. My advice on vaccines is just don't take them seriously don't you're interfering with your basic program still I digress we're getting back to the, the fallen and their offspring now the fallen or nafal from the Hebrew word which it comes um, that is the the fallen angels but they're, they're also more often known as the, the sons of God but these other beings these children these offspring now they're not from creation, so they can't go go back to creation. As part of the punishment for the is for these fallen is to watch their own children kill each other. They are so by this stage full. They've inherited this resentment, which is and this hatred. That it's basically coloured their entire beings, and they're running amok. And it gets worse than that because then you come to the grandchildren and it mentions in the ancient texts about this. These beings, because they, all, they seem, all seem to be male for some reason, with the exception of Medusa and the like, um, how they fit in. They come along somewhere into this, I'm sure. Uh, there's a serpent theme that runs right throughout this. But anyway, you've got this, these grandchildren of the fallen, which are now 
half human, half angel, and animal or fish or bird. Hence, you have the carnivorous dinosaurs coming into being. You think about the majority of the carnivorous ones are two-legged and upright. How much of a brain and consciousness they've got is anybody's guess, but they certainly would have uh, run amok. And again, they're not from creation, hence the reason for the flood, to destroy all these, what was known as abominations. But clearly that flood did not destroy everything. And the biblical account talks about a certain percentage of these demons is dis well certainly if they're disembodied spirits they're they're not in a physical plane so they would survive a flood we now turn to where they possibly went there is a particular group in a, a civilization in southern russia called the khazars who converted to Juda judaism they sat between the christian and the muslim world and didn't want to be part of either of that um and they converted to Judaism, but their origins are rather dubious anyway. They, they're said to have come from the Far East, had a, a reputation for being very warlike and barbaric and depraved. And they are masters of deception, um, probably got that from their, their, the very earliest, their origins of their family tree, shall we say. The master of deception, is that not what Satan and Lucifer is called? So these Khazars, have now, they're now masquerading as Jews. These are the fake Jews. These are the ones that are running Israel. And the, these families, uh, the, these Khazar families that have come out, uh, most famously is the Rothschilds, but they're banking and royal dynasties. And they keep themselves very much to themselves. Uh, now also a lot tied up with all this, if you start digging in deep enough into this, you're, if you look into Freemasonry, Illuminati, uh, the skull and bones, and anything like this, you will find there is a pattern of ritual sacrifice. Now, when you think about that these fallen angels no longer have access to these golden apples, they're going to look for a new food source with the similar properties that they can get. Probably not doesn't work as well, and they probably need a hell of a lot of it. By all accounts, it does take a lot of human lives to create the equivalent of one glass of wine. But there is, a, there is a theme of sacrifice. And I can't think of a, a purer life form than a newborn baby. Totally innocent, uncorrupted. There's something clearly in the blood that they... We're to, the, this is the origin of vampires. And you'll see this pattern being played out everywhere as well. Um, they, are, they are deceptive. They hide behind numerous masks. And this is what we're coming up to... Uh, a point where we're coming to what is known as the end times quite literally I should be talking more about this on another video but um, that's basically a very brief outline of the fallen and their descendants of today that I can assure you do exist so I'm just joining here for you and there are definitely going to be more videos on this thank you for listening